the whole of Monsieur Mignet with his Pou de Ciel, or flying flea. The wingspan of this aircraft is 18 feet, and the horsepower of this engine is 17. Monsieur Mignet, who recently flew the channel at a cost of two bob in the tiny plane which he made himself, gives a special demonstration flight for movie turn at Lim. So let's look at the flea hopping about in the air. It's an astonishing machine. It costs 70 pounds to build, can fly at 60 miles an hour, has a radius of 187 miles, and best of all, does 50 miles to the gallon. If you want to fly high, you can go up to 6,000 feet. It seems to be the poor man's dream of flying come true. Amazing and amusing. Mr. Appleby, the young constructor of the flying flea, or more rudely, the sky louse, as the French nicknamed it. It's the smallest practical aeroplane in the world and has been built by Mr. Appleby himself under a French license at a total cost of 85 pounds. Powered by a 10 horsepower motor car engine, it makes an excellent takeoff. This very interesting little machine may well be the aerial motorcycle of the future. After reaching a height of 100 feet, the tiny machine plunges headlong into a ploughed field adjoining the aerodrome. As it touched the ground, it somersaulted onto its back. The crash would probably have had disastrous effects on nine out of ten pilots in any orthodox type of aircraft. But Mr. Appleby and the flying sea of... Built in his spare time and piloted by Mr. Appleby, the now famous flying fleet takes off for its maiden cross-channel flight. And it gets there. A big hop for a little flea. Baby engine, wings, a joystick and a man. That's all.